going on a date. But it's not your regular date because we're going on a good deeds date. Woo! Which um, means that instead of like going out to dinner or just spending time with each other, we are doing things for other people together. So we are on our way up to the city to go to this event. I'm not exactly sure about it. Alex does. Alex is um, performing a poem to help like raise money for homeless people. Right, people without homes and everything. So I'm in a class for spoken word and they're having me speak in spoken poetry. And then artists, local artists make um, like soup bowls, like um, pottery soup bowls. And like when you buy chili, right? Chili, you buy I think some, it's chili or You soup. buy some chili or soup and all that money goes to the homeless people and then there's just the performance by the people in his class. So we're doing that and then afterwards we are creating a care package for one of our friends who recently had foot surgery and so he can't go anywhere and he really wants people to come visit him so we are making him a Batman themed care package because he's just obsessed with it. So we are going to take you guys along with us as we gather the things for the care package and hopefully present it to him today. I'm not sure how it's going to pan out because we have a pretty busy day, but we're at least going to get everything around for it. So stay tuned for that. So we are on the very snowy highway that Michigan Winters love to donut us with and we're passing a car that has a Santa license plate that's all on it. And the guy looks like Santa! He looks like Santa! That was fantastic. I want to see that. Yeah, he looks just like Santa. I right, can't slow down. So we made it. Yay. Apparently there's a lot of churches in Flint. So we were having problems finding which one was which. And they're all by fast food. And it's snowing really pretty right now. So that's cool. It's and cold. cold. <laughs> this is the cool poster. Just pick me. Help me. Do I want like a wide bowl or a small bowl? Why don't you get a cool bowl? Big bowl or a small bowl? All these bowls. There's a lot of really pretty ones. Too many options. You guys, if you're watching, they might get out of hand. What was it? I like that one. This that one. one? That one? This one? This one? You want to do that one? I think that's a good one. Or that one. one. <laughs> your call. It's your bowl. Let's do that. I like that one. That's my favorite. Thank you. Right. You're welcome. I'm going to try the soup here. So this is like the most delicious soup I've ever had. It's um, a turkey something with carrots and celery and it is delicious. And it's in a pretty, pretty bowl. So the next poet coming to the stage is Alex. Can you all hear me? Or is it better if I do this? Yeah. That one? This one? Yeah. <laughs> Big boys, I can do it. <laughs> um, well, let's see. I didn't write this poem. I didn't write this poem. Uh, this is by Mary Williamson. Uh, some of you may have heard it. It's very famous in Coach Carter. Uh, it means a lot to me. It's how I refound my spirituality and everything, just starting with this and moving forward with pieces like this. And uh, I thought it was very fitting for uh, this setting. So by Marion Williamson, it's called Our Greatest Fear. It is our light, not our darkness, that most frightens us. Our deepest fear is not that we are inadequate. Our deepest fear is that we are powerful beyond all measure. We ask ourselves, who am I to be brilliant, gorgeous, fabulous? Actually, who are you not to be? You are a child of God. Your playing small does not serve the world. There's nothing enlightened about shrinking so that others, people, won't feel insecure around you. We 
You were born to make manifest the glory of God that is within us. It's not in just some of us. It's in everyone. And as we let our own light shine, we unconsciously give other people the permission to do the same. As we are liberated from our own fear, our presence automatically liberates others. By Marion Williams. Oh, zoomed in. So how do you think your poem went? I am overly optimistic that it went well, but not even on my face. I'm sorry, it's bumpy. <laughs> um, I'm over optimistic that I think I did well, but then again, like, I don't know because I should have been, I should have memorized it. It was short enough that I could have. It would have been super sweet. But I didn't. I think you did a great job. Well, thanks, babe. So now we are on our way. I should put myself in it. <laughs> now we are, oh geez. Now we are on our way to go to the store and start collecting awesome Batman care package items. No, 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 Batman. Hey, we're here. We're walking in to start part two of the good deed date. Hey, guys. So we, <laughs> we found the Batman section in the store and we're just goofing around. Yeah, yeah, goofing around. <laughs> <laughs> so we got, we got a lot of stuff Batman that we're going to um, like change and, and alter. So it's like this like book is like the book of riddles. So it's for the Riddler and this is the box that we're going to put it in. And we have like little Batman club and tattoos and Swedish fish for um, the penguin guy. And then Two Faced, Cheez Its and Oreos, and then Poison Ivy because of the, the Twizzler. Then we're trying to decide what to get from the uh, Batman toy section. Yeah, Batman. Now we're at a place called Jelly Beans. It's a local used bookstore. And we're hoping to find some Batman comic books. Found all the comic books. Okay, so this is the box we made for my friend with the foot thing, surgery. Anyways, so this is Gotham City. So when he opens it, we haven't finished the outside yet, but when he opens it, it's going to be like, Gotham! And we're at on campus right now, and this is what we've done so far. So he's going to open the box, and he's going to pull out all the Riddler paper. So it's got little question marks on it that Kayla drew, which is awesome. And it was a nice touch. And so now he's going to pull out all the paper. I'm being careful. I don't want to get any paint on me. He's going to be like, what? What's in here? This is crazy. And the first thing he's going to see is Poison Ivy's Blood Vines. Because I couldn't think of anything better than Blood Vines. So it's strawberry flavored Twizzlers, obviously. And then uh, these Cheez-It Duos, because they're two things in one. Which is, sometimes he's Batman. Sometimes he's Bruce Wayne. And, so, and then it says, uh, like these Parmesan and sharp cheddar Cheez-Its. And then we've got the goblet for this. And inside is candy apple. It's sour pucker and some butterscotch. Butterscotch. So it tastes like a caramel apple. So it's Poison Ivy's candy apple killer. And so I'm, I'm sure he probably can't drink it because he's on medicine. But one day he'll be able to. So there's that. And then... We have the penguins fishy friends or fishy treats and for the penguin and they're they're Swedish fish. And what else do we got? We got him it's a quote from Two Face. And then we said added and Oreos, because they're his favorite treats and then they're the heads or tails Oreos, so it's like Two Face and then Flippy the Coin guy, so there's that. And then also we got him some good old fashioned comics and they only had five at the store and there was like buy six get a discount so we bought him Superman so I hope he likes Superman. And there's some totally tubular uh, sweet sticker tats that he can use temporary tattoos which he probably will. And then we took a book of riddles and like question games and like made it the Riddler's 
super giant book of riddles and puzzles, and then riddled me this, which is like some fan art we found online. And then he's really obviously into Batman. So uh, I found a picture of like a bat cave, like somebody who's also really into Batman in their bedroom. And then put a bunch of like sexy hot Batman girls around it. And like one day you'll have this bedroom and hopefully maybe these girls will just come kind of like feel their dreams. And then we also put in a bunch of jokes about the Batman that Kayla made. So like, or give it to your mother, she knows how to do it, and then Batman doesn't have a mom, so. There's that, and then more jokes. So, should be, I hope he likes it. We gotta let the paint dry, which was an error, we should have done this first. And then, uh, we're gonna wrap the box in yellow paint and be like, pow, whip, whop.